Hello everyone and welcome to Tech in 5 Minutes. Today, we are talking about the Beacon technology. Watch this video to know how it works. Stay till the end to see amazing Beacon's use cases. On our channel, we share top insights in the tech industry. Subscribe not to miss new videos. Let's start. So, what is Beacon technology and how does it work? Beacons are low-cost, wireless transmitters that use Bluetooth low-energy technology to transmit signals to other devices nearby. You won't believe it, but beacons enable a more accurate location within a narrow range than GPS. Keep watching to know which environments they can be used in. Let's now review the types of beacons. Let's review the other common beacon types. Among them are Standard Beacon a small computer, roughly the size of a Wi-Fi router. Portable, small beacon, a small handy device, typically the same size as a standard credit card or a large sticker. USB beacon, a small portable device, roughly the size of a flash drive. Video beacon, an interface transmitter plugged into the back of a screen to deliver personalized content. AI beacon, used to record, analyze, and store interactions between the screen and the user. Parent beacon, a large size device used to track other beacons, coordinate and store all the data, and finally, dedicated beacon, the most durable type of beacons. They are resistant to extreme environmental conditions. We can also classify beacons by their type of beacon protocol. There are two main types, iBeacons and Eddy Stone Beacons. iBeacon is the first beacon protocol in the market created by Apple. iBeacon works with iOS and Android. The beacon using the iBeacon protocol transmits a so-called UUID. The UUID is a string of 24 numbers, which communicate with an installed mobile app. iBeacon advantages are, it's widely supported, simple and easy to implement. It shows reliable performance on iOS. The next type is Eddystone created by Google. Beacons with support from Eddystone work with both iOS and Android. A single beacon can transmit one, two, or all three frame types. The three frame types are, one, a URL, two, UID, similar to Apple's UUID, a 16-digit string of characters, which can identify the individual beacon, and three, TLM. Sensor and administrative data from the beacon itself are communicated through telemetry. Currently, examples include the beacon's battery level and its temperature. The Eddystone's advantages are, it can also send out URL, which removes the necessity of installed app, can transmit telemetry information. It has an open format and flexibility, integration with Google products. Let's now review examples of how beacons are used in real life. We'll describe three uses in retail. Also, you might be interested in the article we prepared recently about the role of big data in the retail industry. Check it out in the description box. Beacons generally help retail businesses streamline their operations and build a loyal customer following. Here's how it works. Retailers place beacons around the store. Beacons connect to the customer's smartphone and send the signal to the phone to open the app. As a result, the customer gets information. For instance, the shopping mall in Denmark uses an app to set up an indoor treasure hunt, keeping kids entertained while their parents are shopping in the mall. Another good example is the hypermarket Auction which decided to use beacons, which allow the customers to navigate through the store with the help of an indoor map. Talking about beacons and food service, we like the example of Italian alcohol brand Martini, which created a smart cube. It is based on an iBeacon technology that sends a Bluetooth message to the bartender when the visitor's glass hits a slurping point. As Eddie Stone beacons in public facilities, we mention the Railwire project. Google launched it with the purpose to roll out free and high-speed Wi-Fi spots at 100 railway stations across India. Which of the mentioned use cases do you like more? Share your thoughts under the video. Wondering what are the pros and cons of using Beacon technology? Among the Beacon technology positives, we at Jelvix outline cost efficiency, easy deployment, proximity marketing, reliability, easy implementation. The Beacon technology negatives are the following. Users may reject notifications. A mobile app is a must. And creating effective proximity marketing is not easy. However, we believe that it is worth investing in beacons for business needs. Now it's time to give a thumbs up. 
This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We provide software development, UI UX design, QA, and testing services to top brands worldwide. Find our contact details in the description box. Thank you for watching this video. We share our own experience on this channel, so make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.